Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And I recently had a comment on one of the uh, tutorials I had posted for Toon Boom Animate. And this is the tutorial, tutorial drawing substitutions. And uh, the question was, all the TB tutorials show the separate drawing substitutions occupying their own frames. Uh, for example, five different eye substitutions in five frames along the timeline. Yours all seem to live in one frame. How is that? Very good question. And it's a very good question because honestly, this is something that stumped me for a while. Um, and mainly the reason that it confused me was uh, I, my background is animating in Flash. And once I made the transition, it, it took me a bit to actually think differently. So I'm going to answer your question in a kind of roundabout way. Uh, this is actually a section uh, from it's pretty much I'll be cover I cover this in our newest DVD uh, Toon Boom for Flash users, but I want to go ahead and explain this. So let's go ahead and jump over um, to Flash again. I'm going I am going to get to the doing this in Toon Boom Animate, but I want to show you exactly uh, why it was why I actually had to rethink how I was doing stuff. Okay, so in Flash, if you have, um, if you want to do something like drawing substitutions, the only thing that's like that is working with a graphic and working in single frame mode. Um, that's working with a graphic symbol. So you'd basically have to uh, create a graphic symbol, have several different frames, then bring, bring that back onto the stage and and then you'd have to set a keyframe each time you'd want that frame to change. In contrast, for animate, the only thing you'd have to do is you're working with drawings. You don't even have to create a symbol. So I can go to the very next frame. I don't have to do a keyframe at all. I am going to turn on my onion skin so I can see what's happening here. And I'll make number two. Go to the next one. Let's do number three. And I'm just going to use my keyboard shortcuts. I'm using the less than and greater than or the comma and period to actually move to each frame. So now just draw out number four and draw out number five. Now, this is all in one drawing layer. So the question was, it's like, okay, well, this is how you would see all the a lot of the question was the all the tutorials have these drawn out in all pretty much in all these separate frames but how how am I seemingly to seeming to do this all in just one single frame well that's the beauty of working in Toon Boom Animate uh, pretty much I'm gonna extend this out let's extend this out to frame 50 let's do F5 and each of these drawings are here. Once these drawings are here, you can call on them whenever you need them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the very last one here, which is drawing five. And the only thing I would have to do is I can select my library and I can look at the drawing substitutions area and I can start changing the different drawing numbers here. For instance, if I type in the number four, so it's going to call up frame four. OK, and so that changed out uh, what was here. So if I want to make it frame one, I can do the same thing and just simply type in frame one. And even more so, I can make all of these the exact same frame. So let's make them all frame one. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, which is the bracket keys right next to the P key. So I'm selecting each one of these frames. I'm going to press the bracket key once and then twice. So now for all of my frames, from frame one to frame 50, I'm actually using the very first drawing. But what if I want to actually start changing that? Let's say at frame 10, I want to use drawing two. The only thing I'm going to do is go ahead and use my bracket keys again. Let's move up one and and for frame 20. Let's move that up again. So I can call on these drawings at different times. So 
if you're asking how I'm actually using all of them in one frame, I'm just standing in a single frame and I'm just using my bracket keys, moving them back and forth and calling on which one I want to show up. And this comes in handy with things like doing, especially if you're doing like a lip sync or eyes blinking or something like that. So it really, really saves you a lot of time. And note, there aren't even keyframes here. These are just little indicators letting you know that you have used a drawing substitution. So no keyframes, no symbols, quick keys, and you can just work and just move. And it is an awesome time saver. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you check out uh, some of the previews for Toon Boom for Flash users. It's our third DVD for Toon Boom Animate. And I wanted to create this for anyone out there who's thinking about making the jump or maybe they have and they're a little bit confused. So my background is uh, I've worked and taught animation and flash for years. And then once made once I made the transition, I was thinking, you know what? There are a lot of things that if I knew ahead of time and if they were explained to me, it would have helped out a lot. Well, that's what this DVD is about. And you can grab it now. Uh, I think we're still doing a discount, 40% uh, off if you actually do a pre-sale. And that will be releasing before the month of January is out. So it's coming up in a few days here. Anyway, have a good one.